here. These are ever sweet strawberries. They're gonna have two large crops, and then in between those two large crops, they're gonna fruit sporadically in between there. So that's why they're uh, an ever bearing. So these are the ever sweet, and we usually grow the ever sweet, but we have a couple of different varieties. Um, you've seen us grow these before in a different area of the property, but we're trying to keep all the um, perennial stuff in this bed so we don't have to come in and till it every year. So that's why you'll see like the asparagus and then we're gonna have uh, strawberries right here and they'll stay here. And we're planting uh, artichokes too. So that's gonna be cool. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep them in there and slide it down. This one's kind of wet. We just had a heavy rain, so I'm not gonna put tons of water in these, just enough to kind of close the air gaps in there and uh, get their potting soil wet again. Oh, wow. What she did? Say her poop? <laughs> what? So our two week goal is to put the artichokes in, the zinnia patch over there, 
lay plastic in all these rows. I think there's eight. Four, nine. There'll be nine rows right here. 15 feet long. Yeah. We got our work cut out for us. So are you thinking we're going to plant that for that other zinnia patch as well? Which like sow in it? Yeah. So that patch will probably be about 3,000 zinnias. Yeah. Hopefully. And then out here will be 55,000. That's the plan. <laughs> and then once I get all the flower stuff complete and you off my back, I'm gonna work on the market garden, which is a holy mess. <laughs> That's where your blood, sweat, and tears yeah. <laughs> come in. <laughs> on the new farmer fit workout. Nice. And this is one of our new additions to the farm. Uh, Chaco, the kids named her. Uh, she reminds me a lot of Charlie. But uh, yeah, if she'd leave me alone, I could get more done. Oh, we never told them what happened to Charlie. Mm -hmm. So our cat, Charlie, the one that was the calico cat that had the paralyzed leg, she ended up passing away last year. Yeah, yeah it was last year. We knew it was it was coming because she was like hit by a car when we, when we got her. And uh, it was kind of recommended that she be put down because it was gonna cause problems in her life later on. But you guys seen her. You guys saw her climb trees and she was super active and she lived a, a good life until she finally couldn't um, like pee anymore or something like that. And so, she could barely walk up the yeah, she could barely walk, but she lived for a couple, a couple years. At least she got to have a little bit of a life, mm -hmm. a happy life with us, but it didn't slow her down because she had run around this property all the time, but we sure miss her. But this little girl reminds us of her. <laughs> and we got her brother too, which is, he's orange and he looks just like her, but he's a little bit bigger. Sure. And they're both rescues and they just come in, they sleep inside at night, just like our other cats. And they um, come out here and hunt during the day and hopefully they'll keep the gophers at bay this year. <laughs> her brother's name is Cheeto. <laughs> come here. Come here, pretty girl. Yeah, Harley, our, our older orange cat, the polydactyl that we've had for 10 years or so, he likes them a lot. He's yeah, happy to have first, Kitty back. Yeah. But he's like that with all new cats. <laughs> he's like the older brother that... Or the picks, uncle. <laughs> yeah, picks on him for a little bit and then ends up liking him. Yeah. Cats are always good to have on the farm. Oh, and uh, Fallon loves them. Oh, yeah. Fallon loves them. They're her babies. She tortures them, and then she calls them her babies. <laughs> I think they're done with it, though. Yeah. <laughs> they like it when they're kittens. <laughs> she likes you. Yeah. All the girl cats. Yeah, all of our girl cats always like Garrett for some reason. Because I mess with them. They like being <laughs> pets. All right, that's about all the time we have for today to work in the garden. We're gonna go eat some ice cream and uh, we'll see you in the next video.